again. This videotape was prepared as a supplement to the tape entitled The Job 28.9 Structural Modeling Concept, a research proposal. At the end of that tape, I talked about uplifting a more realistic wrench fold geometry. A geometry that incorporates crustal compression as well as crustal shear. I mentioned that by uplifting this specific wrench style, a new structural track configuration was created which could be used as an exploration model when searching for hydrocarbons on the backside of uplifted terrains. This tape documents how this back thrust exploration model is created using the Job 28.9 concept. Let's begin by reviewing wrench fold geometries. In this diagram, both the simple and complex wrench folds are displayed. The simple symmetrical fold generated by pure shear stress becomes complex and asymmetrical when horizontal compressive stress is introduced. Two distinct structural closures are formed at the crest of the fold. These closures are asymmetrical in the sense that one flank is steeper than the other flank. If the degree of compressive stress is sufficiently great, <clears throat> the fold can actually be pushed over and become recumbent as shown in the cross sections at the bottom. Notice how the dip on the fold axis reverses direction along the fold, somewhat like a propeller. The double crest and dip reversal characteristics of this fold are observed both in the field and in the laboratory. Along the Newport Inglewood trend in the Los Angeles Basin, fields are aligned along asymmetrical transpressional folds. In this structural diagram, Long Beach and Seal Beach fields are located along a fold that displays both the double crest nature and dip reversal characteristics of transpressional stress. These characteristics can also be seen in laboratory scale folds. In this picture, I was able to produce an asymmetrical transpressional fold in a plate of plexiglass. Although it is difficult to see in the overhead view, the right lateral fold in the center of the plate displays two crests, a crest on each side of the displacement. Crest here, another crest here. Also, the asymmetry of the fold reverses direction across the displacement, giving, giving the fold the appearance of a propeller. If this fold geometry is uplifted on the back side of an asymmetrical deep crustal uplift, it will be tilted and stretched as a result of volume conservation. Volume conservation is accomplished through the process of anti-granular microshearing. The fold uplift is shown in the next diagram. In this diagram, the pre-uplift transpressional fold geometry is shown on the left in cross-sectional form shown earlier. After uplift, the fold is rotated and stretched, displaying a regional dip downward to the left. Because of the uplift, 
The fold is recumbent along its entire length, with the length of the fold limbs changing considerably along the overturned fold. The overturned fold geometry has the appearance of a back thrust and could easily be interpreted as such on seismic data. This is because beds dipping at a high angle, such as those at the leading edge of the fold, will not be imaged seismically. In the next diagram, a possible fault interpretation based on seismic imaging is applied to the uplifted fold. The diagram now displays an interpreted thrust fault along the leading edge of the overturned fold. Also, because of bed dip, a short normal fault down thrown to the right is shown. Finally, a blue line is used to indicate the updip extent of the overturned section. By measuring the height of the individual cross sections, a structural map has been constructed on the top of the uplifted yellow interval. The map displays the interpreted faults as well as the updip limit of the overturned section. Structural closures are shown in red. The map surface on the right displays many interesting features. Let's take a closer look at the map. Perhaps the most notable feature is how the strike of the interpreted thrust fault dramatically changes. The blue line indicates that this is due to a sudden increase in the extent of the overturned section.